What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your drum brakes punchy and snappy without the use of a compressor or drum layering on the Akai MPC Live. First of all, I'm going to press my shift button, hold it, press menu, so we can navigate to our directories, MPC Live SD card, MPC Live programs, brakes, and I'm going to load in this Harvey underscore Mandel break from my personal library. Load that in. Go to our program editor so you can see the break. It's a non destructive slice. Next step is to go to our filter envelope page and then choose our edit zones, turn that to all so we can edit all the drum samples or all the chops. And now let's take a look at our amp envelope. As you can see, it's set to the default, which is the simple attack decay envelope. We're gonna switch that to the more complex attack hold decay sustain envelope. Our attack is set to zero, hold is set to zero, decay is set to six. We're gonna double tap decay, change that to zero, do it. And we're gonna change the sustain to 25. We go back to our main page, trigger our pads as we can hear that is considerably quieter so let's change our BPM to 105 which is pretty much the same tempo as our break and I'm just going to put in two bars of a simple pattern of this break okay now I'm going to bounce this to sample so I can normalize it I'm going to go to a sample editor, scroll down, and there's our bounce. As you can see, it's still really quiet, but you could probably see there's these quite large peaks, which our amp envelope has applied. So we're going to normalize it. And what's most likely going to happen is those peaks are going to stop the rest of the break from being normalized. Yep, just as a thought. So particularly this snare here and this snare here. But because they're so short, we can apply some gain. I'm gonna go quite high. I'm gonna go up to eight decibels. Perfect. As you can see, we're not gonna be clipping particularly. Probably won't be adding any distortion. We can check that now. So all we need to do now is press our trim again and go to regions. I'm gonna choose eight because we put in two bars worth. And now we've got a perfectly chopped copy of that break. I'm gonna press shift, convert, new drum program using slices, non-destructive slice, do it. I'm gonna go back to my main page. I'm gonna to go to track two and I'm gonna select my bounce Harvey underscore Mandel break chop program. Now let's go back to compare to our original. Now we're gonna take off our amp envelope settings. So we're gonna just simply switch back to attack decay. This is our original and this is our bounced. Now, to be fair, that is a little bit louder. I probably added maybe one or two decibels of gain a bit too much, but you could probably hear there's a considerable difference in the actual punch and snap of those breaks. Our first one is sounding kind of flat now. And our next one, got really nice short punch and snap. We've added no additional drum layers, haven't had to mess around with other samples, literally just affected the amp envelope bounced that out added a bit of normalization gain and there you go so i hope today's video has been of use to you guys today let me know in the comments below anything you want to say any questions you want to ask please like subscribe share all the usual jazz i'm tube digger and i'm out